Okay, hi everybody. This is the second lecture for this topic. So in the in the lecture one, I have explained to you uh, about the 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 first thing is the companies that should use job advertising system. Uh, what are the characteristic of the companies that should use job advertising system? And then the second thing is I have uh, explained to you. Uh, that the the doc, the main document that should be used by a company that use that uses job order costing system is is called job cost sheet in the job cost sheet the company has to show uh, the direct material cost the direct labor cost and the overhead cost okay you have seen that the direct material cost uh, for a job is is easy to to calculate. Uh, you do a, a business do a does a job and then it is very easy to calculate the direct material cost. The second cost is the direct labor cost related to the job. That one is also easy because you the company can records uh, how many labors and how many hours and what is the rate paid to the workers and the company can calculate the direct labor cost. Uh, the overhead cost is quite difficult to calculate uh, because the overhead cost are cost uh, that do not related to a job. Uh, I hope you can remember the definition of overhead cost. Uh, you have learned that in the in topic six. So when a company want to calculate overhead cost for a job, the company has to use uh, predetermined overhead rate. So in the previous, uh, in the lecture one of, for this topic, you have seen how to calculate the POHR or predetermined overhead rate. Uh, there is a formula there and then this, the next thing to do is to calculate the applied overhead for the job. And then the, the company can, can calculate the uh, overhead cost for the job. Okay, this is the lecture two. Uh, so in this lecture, you will see the first thing is to compute the total cost and average cost for per unit of a job okay let's see okay this uh, this is the job order sorry job cost sheet uh, that you have seen in the previous lecture okay in the previous in the lecture one you have seen that the business has recorded the direct material cost and then the company has recorded the direct labor cost and then and then the comp uh, the company also has calculated the manufacturing of it. So using the POHR, uh, you have seen that the predetermined of it rate is four dollar per direct labor hour. So we know that this business is a labor intensive business. The allocation base is the direct labor hour. And then for this job the direct labor hour related to this job is 8 hours so how much is the, is the manufacturing overhead 8 hours 8 direct labor hours times the times POHR of 4 dollar so the overhead cost related to this job is 32 dollars so here in the in the second half of the job cost sheet you can see the cost summary so in this cost summary, it shows that for this job, the direct materials are $116. The direct labor cost is $88. Uh, these two data are coming from the, the top section here. The top section of the job cost sheet. And then also, uh, in the summary here, you can see that the manufacturing of head cost is $32. So this this data also coming from uh, the top uh, section of the job cost sheet. So this is the summary, the total of the cost. So uh, okay, let's see. So these are the data. So so the total cost for the job is two hundred and thirty six dollar, and then. If the uh, for this job, see here, for this job, the product produced for this job 
uh, is two units. Two units product for this job. See so here, units completed, two. So, and then, the total cost is 236. So, unit product cost for this job is $236 divided by 2 because there are two products. So, unit product cost is $118. Unit product cost for this job is $118. Okay, the average unit cost. So, so this is easy to understand. If uh, in the previous uh, slide you have seen that the total cost for the job is two hundred and thirty-six dollar. So, if there are two product, then the average cost per unit is two hundred and thirty-six dollar divided by two. If there are three products, then you have to divide by three. If there are ten products, then you have to divide by ten. Okay, so this is important. In the, this is a simple question. Uh, this question shows how to calculate cost for a job. Okay, this is very important. You have to know how to calculate uh, cost for a job. So let's see the question. Job WR53 required. So this job is done by a company, NW Fab Incorporated. This company uh, does many jobs in one year, in one accounting period. This question is related only to one job, job WR53. Job WR53 required $200 of direct materials and 10 direct, 10 direct labor hours at $15 per hour and then estimated total overhead for the year was 760,000 and estimated direct labor hours for the year were 20,000 direct labor hours what will be recorded as the cost of job WR53 so how to answer this question this question asks you to calculate the cost for job WR53 so to answer this question always remember in accounting when you have to calculate cost for a job or a product or a service, the basic formula is direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus overhead cost. So, so this is the answer. So, cost for the job WL53 is first, you calculate the direct material cost. The direct material cost for this job is $200. The direct labor cost is $15 per hour times 10 hours. So, the direct labor cost is $150. And then, uh, how much is the manufacturing overhead? So, to calculate the manufacturing overhead, you have to, to do two steps. First, you have to calculate the POHR or the predetermined overhead rate. So, for this question, the POHR is... Uh, estimated overhead divided by the estimated allocation base so estimated overhead is 760000 divided by the allocation base of 20000 direct labor hours so the pohr is equal to 38 dollars so in the white box here see the manufacturing overhead for this job is POHR, which is the $38, times the allocation base. The actual allocation base uh, for, this, for this job, which is 10 hours. So, $38 ten, times 10 hours equal to $380. So, the cost for this job is $200 plus $150 plus $380 equal to seven hundred and thirty dollars so the answer is d seven hundred and thirty dollars okay so in this uh, learning objective five you will see the flow of cost so then i don't have to worry about this because this is related to the journal entries journal entries 
uh, is something related to financial accounting so don't have to worry about this i will i will show you the most important uh, slide in this chapter in this topic don't have to worry about this okay this one is but under applied or over applied overhead okay this one you have to know this so you have to know this uh, when you calculate overhead cost for a job you use applied overhead to do calcul the calculation remember when you calculate uh, cost for job wr53 you you use uh, applied overhead for the job the calculation for the applied overhead is uh, POHR time the actual allocation base uh, at the end of the year if you have a business that uses a job order costing system at the end of the year you have two data for the uh, overhead cost first total applied overhead second data is actual applied overhead so these two data will not will not say will not e uh, equal to each other uh, applied overhead cost always different compared to the actual overhead cost because when you calculate the applied overhead cost uh, you use estimates so estimates uh, will not equal to the actual number So the things that, that can happen is sometime the applied overhead is higher compared to the actual overhead. And in other times, the actual overhead is higher than the applied overhead. So this is in a, 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 the, there is an example here. Pair companies actual overhead for the year was 605 uh, six hundred and fifty thousand dollar with a total of one hundred and seventy thousand direct labor hours how much uh, total overhead was applied to pair companies job during the year use pair companies uh, predetermined overhead rate of four dollar per direct labor hour so let's see the actual overhead is six hundred and fifty thousand so you have to calculate the Applied overhead. So applied overhead <coughs> is the POHR times the actual labor hour or the actual allocation base. So when you calculate, calculate the applied overhead, the applied overhead total applied overhead for the year is six hundred and eighty thousand dollar. So now you can see here the the applied overhead is higher compared to the actual overhead. So this situation is called over applied overhead. So the amount of over applied is equal to 30,000. The company has applied 30,000 more overhead compared to the actual overhead. So when a, uh, when there is an over or under applied of overhead, the company has to 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 record the difference in the uh, using this this method. The amount of under or over applied overhead can be closed directly to the cost of goods sold account or can be allocated to three accounts work in process account, cost of goods sold account, and finished good account. So so you have to to memorize this. If there is a question asks you how to record the amount of under or over applied overhead the answer is there are two ways a company can record the amount of over or under applied of overhead the first way is to close the amount in the cost of goods sold account the second way is to divide the amount of over or under allocate uh, under allocation sorry to record the over or under applied overhead uh, in three accounts 
the work in process account, cost of goods sold account, and finished goods account. Don't have to worry about the general and ledger. Okay, I will skip these slides. I will show you the most important points that you have to know. Okay, so remember this job order costing system <coughs> is used in a manufacturing business and also uh, it is used in the in service businesses uh, uh, for example before this you have seen that an an architect uh, un, uh, sorry an architecture firm uh, will use job order costing uh, because every service is unique so to calculate the cost for each service the business will use uh, job order costing system and an example for a manufacturing business is a fishing uh, vessels builder so a fishing vessel builder is a manufacturing business and and this business uses job order costing system because each vessel is unique according to the order made by by customer so the business uses uh, job order costing systems so always remember job order costing system uh, is used by manufacturing business and also by the service by service businesses okay another thing that you have to uh, to wear is um uh, now the process to calculate job order costing system is uh, can be done using computer software or computer application so very uh, the calculation can be done very quickly okay that's it i have explained all uh, most important uh, most important things uh, related to job order costing system thank you very much uh, you can communicate with me in the comment section